Hello, my name is Marguerite Kuhn, and I am the Vice President of Medical Affairs in Midland, a practicing gynecologist, and a member of the MidMichigan Health Credentialing and Privileging Committee. MidMichigan Health is a nonprofit health system headquartered in Midland, Michigan, and affiliated with Michigan Medicine, the Mi healthcare division of the University of Michigan. MidMichigan Health covers a 23 county region with medical centers in Alpena, Alma, Clare, Gladwin, Midland, Mount Pleasant, and West Branch. In addition to its medical centers, MidMichigan Health also offers both home care health and physician services and has a strong commitment to medical education. This video will provide an overview of your responsibilities and duties for appointment to the MidMichigan medical staff and is a requirement for all credentialed providers, whether you are providing telemedicine services or working at one of our more of our facilities. Now as you embark on your career here at MidMichigan Health, my colleagues Dr. Stack and Bates would like to take time to review some of the philosophy and expectations we have for all our providers within our organization. Hello, my name is Mike Stack. I'm Vice President of Medical Affairs at Gratiot and also a practicing family physician. I have some important concepts that I'd like to talk to you about. First, here at MidMichigan Health, we require that providers are board certified. If you've recently completed your training, you have five years to become board certified. If you're already board, board certified in your specialty, we ask that you maintain your maintenance of certification as required by your specialty. Certain providers will also have to demonstrate certification in ACLS, NRP, and other certifications. We ask that you use the American Heart Association standard for this. Next, I'd like to talk about quality initiatives. Here at MidMichigan Health, we strive to remain in the top quartile for national standards. Sometimes these are uh, implemented by CMS, maybe Blue Cross, Blue Shield, or other payers. We also have internal standards that we use to keep ourselves in the uh, top quartile for quality and safety. We'd like you to comply with best practice evidence-based guidelines in order to provide excellent care and service for our patients. Next, I'd like to talk about medical records. Here at MidMichigan Health, we use the EPIC platform for our medical record keeping. You may have to demonstrate some competency on EPIC or go through some training in order to gain access to the medical record. We have medical record completion policy here, and we ask that you complete your records in a timely fashion. Failure to do so could result in an automatic relinquishment of privileges. Next, I'd like to talk to you about committee service. Here at MidMichigan Health, we feel we have a top-notch medical staff. In order to maintain that high-functioning team, we ask that you participate in the committee service, which will help to integrate you into the medical staff and uh, provide some continuity on our medical staff. So next, Dr. Bates will have some concepts that he would like to talk to you about. Thank you. Hello. My name is Richard Bates. I am Vice President of Medical Affairs at Alpena and formerly a practicing obstetrician gynecologist. MidMichigan is a Joint Commission accredited health system, and we adhere to the Joint Commission expectations for clinical competency. As you begin your clinical practice, this is initially assessed through a process known as FOCUS, Professional Practice Evaluation, or FPPE. You will be notified of your specific requirements once your application for appointment has been approved. Each specialty has threshold metrics where they focus on best practices. Generally speaking, for medical specialists, FPPE will be accomplished through retrospective chart reviews. In the case of surgical specialists or proceduralists, FPPE will be accomplished through a combination of at the elbow proctored cases and retrospective chart reviews. Most often, your proctor will be a qualified member of the medical staff who has been endorsed by the Credentials Committee. I want to emphasize proctoring is an opportunity for you to become acquainted with your colleagues, the clinical staff, and the surgical arena in our health system. We want your onboarding pro experience to be a pleasant and successful introduction to MidMichigan. Following completion of FPPE, you will be automatically transitioned to Ongoing Professional Practice Evaluation, or OPPE. 
All credentialed providers participate in OPPE, which is comprised of a set of general metrics and a set of specially specific metrics based on best practice. Your data will be compiled and reported out to you and your medical staff leadership in generally every six months or so. Examples of general metrics that apply to all providers include percent of verbal orders, number of peer-reviewed cases, and mortality statistics. OPP is a method to continuously monitor and identify opportunities for improvement in our quest to provide safe and quality-driven patient care. MidMichigan has an established professional policy, essentially our code of conduct, whereby we expect that all providers will work together in a collegial and respectful manner in an atmosphere of mutual respect. At any time, if you feel you have been treated in an unprofessional manner, you are encouraged to contact your Vice President of Medical Affairs. Although we have grown to a health system of six hospitals, we adhere to, a to the basic pr principles that we do the right thing each time, every time, and we offer nothing but the best for our patients and the communities we serve. We value and respect our patients' privacy and strictly adhere to the HIPAA privacy laws. You have signed and acknowledged your understanding of our confidentiality policy. Please be aware that access to medical rec records is strictly on a need-to-know basis for providers with an established patient-provider relationship. MidMichigan has employed a continuous monitoring system and unauthorized access will be addressed through a strict disciplinary process. Here at MidMichigan, we are focusing on a philosophy which promotes both provider wellness and provider accountability. These two pillars are embedded in our culture and supported by the MidMichigan Health Board of Directors. We firmly believe that supporting providers' wellness while holding them accountable for their actions will enable us to achieve our goal of providing excellent health services to improve the quality of life for people in our communities. Upon completion of this video, you will be redirected to a document outlining the topics we have discussed today. In order for your application to be deemed complete, you are required to sign and submit the Summary of Applicant Requirements document. Please print a copy of this document and retain for your records. Thank you for taking the time today to complete this portion of the application process. In anticipation that your application will be approved, you will be informed in writing. We look forward to working with you.